Hi, my name is Lauren, and I'm going to take you on a journey into a day in the life of a student in GA's software engineering boot camp. First is that each day in the program is a little bit different. It's a mix of live lessons, video lessons, lab time, and other activities. Second is that the modular lesson format makes it easy for instructors to move things around or rearrange the schedule to make room for extra things like level up lessons or even extra review time as needed. Um, and third, it's just to show you how easy it is for students to navigate and interact with our content. Our main goal here was to equip instructors with the tools to differentiate schedules and curriculum to meet the needs of the unique cohorts that they teach. I start my day by looking at the calendar and getting a feel for what the day will be like. Today's a little bit lighter, thankfully. We're starting with a lab in the morning and a video lecture before lunch. After that, there's a couple of live lectures. I'm actually really excited about learning to play audio in the browser. The instructor just gave us our first unit project requirements yesterday, and I want to build a quiz game. It just wouldn't be the same without a satisfying ding when you get a question right. We also had a lot of lab time yesterday, which I was grateful for since it was more challenging. Having that extra time also made it so that I could work with my classmates together in Zoom, and I feel caught up coming into today. Each day is a little bit different. Tomorrow we're doing project planning and getting started on our unit project. I'm excited to have a full week with less lecture and no labs to apply what I've learned this unit and build my first independent project. I got some coffee and I'm ready to get started on this lab. Getting to the lab content is easy. I just click on the calendar event and follow this link. Once I'm on the page for the lab, I can follow the setup guide to get started and then move into the exercise. This one looks a little shorter than the one I did yesterday, so that's awesome. I worked in a group for that one, but I'm feeling like just doing this one solo. All right, I just finished that lab, so I'm gonna go ahead and submit it. Submitting labs is really easy. I just scroll down on this page in Canvas, paste in my GitHub link, and then I'm done. My IA will give me feedback on this and I'll see it marked as complete in Canvas later. Next up is the responsive design lecture video. I'm really excited to learn how to get my sites working on mobile devices. The videos are typically short and stay focused on specific topics, so I can work my way through them quickly, and I can even take short breaks between them if I need to get more coffee or take my dog out real quick. It's also easy to come back to a recording later if I want to see it again. Hey everybody, and welcome to this lesson on responsive design. Now we're gonna do is get set up for the content we will be going over. So what I want you to do is make sure you have your terminal open as you see on the right side of the screen. But no bigger than 1199 pix. So let's say I were to create a rule like that, okay? So we go up here, media. Okay, and we say, hey, I'm in with 768 pixels. And again, feel free to pause the video at any time if you want to code along. And I like that video content makes it easy for me to pause if I need a few seconds to catch up with the, what the instructor's typing. I like live lecture a lot too, but I learned just as much from the videos and my instructional team is just a Slack message away if I have a question. And we'll just choose some other color, we'll say brown. So the idea here is, when we think about it by default, so at the smaller screen size, we should be a light salmon. Now, as it gets bigger, I eventually will cross that 600. It's lunchtime. Time to take a break from looking at screens and make something to eat. My instructor stressed it's important to get a good break, and I like to have dedicated time every day where I can log out of Zoom and not have any obligations for class. After lunch, we're all back together in Zoom. I like live lecture because I enjoy getting to ask questions live and hear other people's questions too. We have a really fun classroom culture. After this lesson, we'll have a quick break and I'll probably grab a snack. Finally, the lecture I've been looking forward to all day. This lecture was cool because it had a larger portion for me to do on my own to complete the app, so I feel like I have a really good grasp on the content here, and I'll be able to apply this perfectly in my project. I finished my lab today, but I still have a bit of my Array Iterator lab from yesterday left, and I need to work on my project proposal before tomorrow so I can submit that on time. I'm going to go make some dinner and then get going on that for a couple of hours tonight and hopefully finish it. I hope this gave you an insightful peek into the program from the eyes of a student and left you with some key takeaways. 